us, we'll be able to get all of those permits that we need in order to start the process. And then, you know, funding the ultimate expansions is a totally different matter that uh, would require much more discussion. Thank you. Council Pro? The, um, when you talk about permits, obviously, the one that pops out is you've got to probably appear before some sort of conservation <coughs> commission. What's sort of lead time on that? I mean, you say $50,000, seven acres, that should take us into the, a relatively near future. What are you thinking in terms of sequencing? Uh, so right now, we've had extensive discussions with the state at the National Heritage uh, relative to the endangered species issue. Uh, so where we received a ruling from them that we had expected, um, we should be able to go ahead with our notice of intent in order to get our order of conditions within the next couple of months. Then the statutory requirements there, you know, I think it's within you know, 45 days or whatever the case may be, uh, we'll have our permits in hand, which would then allow us to move forward with the actual execution of the vision. So roughly 45 to 60 days to collect that order lack of a better word and restore the service is currently not being offered now? No, uh, we're, we're able to sell plots. So if, if someone were to pass away, and Quincy resident were to pass away, we have space available at Pine Hill Cemetery right now to, to provide for whatever it is they're looking to do. Whether it's a single grade plot, which would allow two casting burials, and we have some doubles and triples available. That capacity is rapidly dwindling. So this project, we're really looking for multiple years down the line here, but um, you know, once we're out of space, that's it. You know, so we, it, it's something that needs to be addressed now so that we kind of have a seamless transition um, you know, to that new way of the center. Assistant Director Bruce. Thank you. Yes, there's actually no motion I on the floor, but discussion, Council LA. I would envision, you know, that my ballpark estimate would be about thirty-five thousand. We'll go towards the permanent issue, the permanent effort, which would be additional attorney fees, engineering fees, and then somewhere near about fifteen thousand would go towards typical run-of-the-mill uh, maintenance type items. And, and just as a little bit more background on this, uh, the funds that we're asking for, those funds are generated through the sale of lots at Pine Hill and through, uh, though specifically from Pine Hill Cemetery. So it's kind of a revenue coming in, revenue going back. Thank you. Thank you. Any further discussion? Yes, Council Prime Minister. I'm with the motion that we pass, and then I have a, if that gets seconded, I have a question. All right, there's a motion. Is there a second? Second. Motion is made and seconded. Further discussion? Yes, Council Prime Minister. Council Prime Minister. Mr. Sonny, good evening. Good evening. Always a pleasure to see you. Pleasure to all, man. Is uh, Park, uh, does uh, the cemetery uh, area count as open? It would be listed as open space on the open space maps that you see. Yeah. So is that something that could be uh, we could utilize CPA funding for an open space portion of? I believe that we potentially could. Um, I I believe that we potentially could. And you said we have an attorney who's handling the permitting process. Yes, we do. Who's the attorney? Uh, Richard Nile. He is at a firm in downtown. He handles specific issues. Mm -hmm. Related to uh, the endangered species and that sort of thing. And that's you know, anticipating my next question is why do we need outside counsel because he has a specialty relative to endangered species? Correct. Um, what is the what is the final cost estimate to get what we need to get? Um, I would say so. Right now we have there's been a whole slew of things that have happened in the last few years. So maybe if you could. Absolutely. We had a Golden <laughs> Environmental was a company that was lined up to do a survey. There was no existing survey at that cemetery. So it was an appropriation a few years ago, I want to say it was somewhere in the neighborhood of thirty-five thousand dollars to get that particular piece of the puzzle um, executed. Um, we've had to bring in biological you know, biologists and we've uh, been to the you know to the tune of fifteen thousand dollars with them. We've uh, had attorney fees the entire Along the way, the attorney has been with us throughout this entire process, um, and that's going back many, many years, even before I was the executive director. Um, 
so at this point right now, we have some contracts that are encumbered. Um, that should get us through all of our various you know, uh, mechanical things, if you will. What I anticipate is that we're going to have additional needs throughout the notice and intent process, and additional questions that the state's going to be answered. So I would, as I said before, you know, my, my best estimate right now would be about 35000 of the remaining of, of this particular appropriation would go specifically toward the permanent and have we already purchased the, or we already own the land for the expansion? We are uh, pursuing a land swap with what is state owned land. So that is what, that's another whole layer of complexity that has made this process a little bit more onerous. Uh, ultimately, we're, what we have, we own land that we don't anticipate using for the cemetery. We're swapping for land that's more uh, agreeable, if you will. Uh, there's a lot more gravel in the land that we're purchasing than there is in the area that we're giving back to the state. So um, that swap is obviously fairly complicated, thus necessitating this whole process. The DCR has a history of land swaps relative to the Blue some, some that I think sit with the stakeholders better than others. The one that comes to mind is the Lantana parking lot land swap, which they took uh, contingent land, uh, land that was uh, connected to the greater reservation and swapped it so that the uh, land is a parking lot uh, for land that isn't at all connected to the reservation. That's the land that we're talking about uh, swapping with them is all land that abuts the uh, park already, the reservation already. One of the best parts about this particular project, in my opinion, obviously the biggest goal is to provide for additional burial needs for the people of Clinton. Um, if you've been to Pine Hill Cemetery, it's in, it's in War 4, and you've been there one, many times. Um, there, one, one obvious thing that you notice is that there are not a lot of trees there. Right. You know, it's fairly kind of barren. The area into which we are expanding, and we propose to expand, is uh, heavily, heavily uh, treed, if you will. So we hope to capitalize on the natural beauty that is there to make the nicest part of Pine Hill Cemetery be the newest part. You wouldn't necessarily think that that would be the case with cemeteries. Oftentimes, you know, Mount Wallace, and if someone were to visit there, you'd say, look at all the oldest stuff first because it's the most impressive. Um, the goal here would be to create the nicest part of the cemetery and have that be the most. So we take advantage of the natural environmental benefits that we have. And we're providing uh, adequate land back to the, to the DCR. Correct. So all of those things that are being sort of lined up and agreed to. And then, um, Uh, you had spoken about in your pre presentation that we're offsetting these costs with the sale of the additional uh, plots that we would gain, correct? I'm sorry, you said we're offsetting the cost of the $50,000 expenditure. We're going to recoup when the plots are sold no, in the expansion area. Is that what you were? We're you always, you know, uh, accruing fees, if you will, for the sale of all these lots. And that account gets built up over time, whether it's in this particular one is an account that's funded by the sale of lots. We have other ancillary fees that, that folks are charged to have a burial. So uh, this fund has been building up and we be draw it down annually um, for things like this. Thank you. Thank you, Councilor Palmer uh, For the discussion? Yes, Councilor Devon. Thank you, Madam President. Um, these two cemeteries in general, um, nice to see you, see you sound like, um, what is the capacity of these where, where plots can be still bought? What are the, what are the two capacities of each, each uh, cemetery? Right now at Mount Wallace Cemetery, we have zero plots for sale, whether it's on an as needed basis, pre there is nothing for sale there. Okay. Right now, we anticipate, based on the demand we've seen in the last few years, that we have the ability to accommodate the other two years in the Red Pine Cemetery. Um, you know, obviously there are tens of thousands of people that are interred in both places, um, and we're rapidly running out. But we believe, like I said, based on the estimates we have in the two or three years of Pine Hill, we should be fine. Okay, that's it. Thank you. Thank you. Further discussion? All right, seeing none, Mr. Clark, Mr. Council King. Yes. Council Crawl. Council Bond. Yes. Council Finn. Yes. Council of Yes. Council Leanne. Yes. Council Calhoun. Yes. President Hughes. Yes. 
eight members. Thank you. Have a good Thank you, Mr. Kassan. Mr. Kassan. Next item, Madam President, number five. I'm sorry, number four. Nomination election by the Quincy City Council of the Clerk Committee for the 2016 and 2017 Council Sessions. All right. Thank you, Mr. Clerk. Chair recognizes Mr. Kane, Council Kane. Thank you, Madam President. Um, well, I've only had the short opportunity to work with Jen Manning thus far with the current Clerk of Committees. I seek to nominate her for this role once again. I know that she's been uh, quite influential, at least in my coming up to speed, and an invaluable asset to this council. Um, I know that we will continue to benefit from her organization and her institutional knowledge. Is there a second? Second. Yes, Mr. Yes. yes. Uh, it's my pleasure to, to second the nomination of uh, Jennifer Manning. Um, she has been, uh, without a doubt, uh, a breath of fresh air in, the, um, in her attention to detail and her focus on this position. She has been uh, not only uh, a pleasure to work with, but she has proven herself to be uh, extremely capable uh, at the job to which she has been appointed previously, uh, and I think um, certainly suitable to continue with that job as well. Thank you, Councilor Fowler. Thank you, Mr. Kane. Uh, any other nominations? All right, seeing none, motion to close nominations. Motion, second. Second. All right, seconded. All those in favor, close nomination. Aye. Okay. Uh, Mr. Clark, will you call the roll, please? Necessary to name the candidate for the committee. Council Kane. Jeff Manning. Council Kroll. Jennifer Manning. Council Bonham. Jennifer Manning. Council Finn. Jennifer Manning. Council Flores. Jennifer Manning. Council Leanne. Jennifer Manning. Council Palmucci. Jennifer Manning. President Hughes. Jennifer Manning. Congratulations, Jennifer. Thank you. All right, she's sworn in tomorrow morning. I will post it on Facebook. All right, next item. Next item call. on the agenda adoption of the rules of the City Council. Um, as amended, as adoption rules of the City Council of 2015 as amended be the rules of the City Council for the year 2016. All right, is there a motion? So no. Council, how much is there a second? Second. Okay. Any discussion? I'm seeing none, Mr. Clark. On the rules, Council Kane. Yes. Council Kroll. Yes. Council Blum. Yes. Council Finn. Yes. Council Clark. Yes. Council Leanne. Yes. Council Palmucci. Yes. President Hughes. Yes. Eight members, the rules of the will be printed. Reprinted. <coughs> Authorize the city clerk to print a list of items pending before the city council after each meeting, known as the calendar. We're going to go into the, the calendar system very soon. This, this council will be receiving very soon. Necessary to All right. Is there a motion? So moved. Is there a second? Second. Discussion on motion? Seeing none, Mr. Clerk? On the calendar, Council Kane, yes. Council Crow, yes. Council Vaughn, yes. Council Finn, yes. Council Flores, yes. Council Leang, yes. Council Kalmuji, yes. President Hughes, yes. eight members. Calendar's adopted. Next item, Council 2016 adoption of the 2016 City Council meeting schedule that has been presented to everyone. It can change, but it seldom does. But Due to special occurrences, we may change. We usually adopt the first business meeting. All right, thank you. Motion by Councilor Fallon, seconded by Council Kane. 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 President Hughes. Yes. Eight members of the other staff. Next items, Madam President, is Council Order 2016009 that the City Clerk be directed to cause notice to be given that the meeting of the citizens of Quincy qualified to vote in primaries shall be held on Tuesday, March 1st, 2016, 
in the several polling places herein designated by this council. And each such citizen may on that day, in the several precincts in which they are able to vote, give their voices. This is the presidential primary Democrat, Republican.